Okay, here's a very simple um, application where we want to take a, a list of entries and assign a random number to them. Um, for this first example, we're just going to take a list of students and assign them to either group one, two, or three um, randomly. So in um, starting in column two, row two, all the way through the last row, we're going to be entering a random number between one and three. Um, so I've put most of the code out there. I've got our, um, our loop set up and our last row computed and the variables defined. So I'm going to go to Canvas and um, copy over the random number formula. So I'm going to paste that into our code. And um, we don't really uh, need to assign the random number variable. I'm just going to uh, write the result directly into the cells. So for um, row i in the loop, starting 2 to the bottom in column 2, I'm going to compute a number between 1 and 3. So I'm going to replace the upper bound with the number 3 and the lower bound with the number 1. And I'm going to run the um, code to randomly assign numbers 1 to 3. Um, so now that that's done, I'm going to uh, show you a much more complex but um, more user-friendly way to do it. Um, and then uh, just to show you if we had a different number of students. So we delete the rows. run it again, um, still randomly from 1 to 3. Okay, so um, now suppose we wanted to make a more flexible program. Um, I've created a, a couple of uh, formulas just in Excel. Um, cell D2 is going to have the group size. So rather than a hard-coded groups of three, um, or groups of what, depending on how many um, students there are, um, this is going to this is going to allow the user to assign um, the maximum size of the group. Um, so E2 counts the number of groups required. So that there's it looks in row 2 all the way to row, um, I don't know how I came up with 935, but all the way um, down to the bottom of the spreadsheet. If the um, if it's greater than blank, then it's dividing um, by the group size and then rounding up in order to show how many groups are required. So um, if this number is a 4, and there's 10 groups, there would be three groups required. Um, if we had more students, and we had a group size of three, there'd be seven groups required if we had 21 students. Okay, in cell F2, I'm in um, G2, I'm going to be using that internally in the program to um, check whether the groups are full. Imagine all these students have different names. Um, so let me show you the code for this program. Over in uh, Module 5, I've gone ahead and coded it. Um, so in cell D2, as I mentioned, I'm going to allow the user to specify how many students they want in a group. And then I have a variable for groups required that I'm going to use inside of the inside of the, the main loop. So I'm assigning a random number and putting it in cell F2. Cell F2 here. Um, shows the random number. And then um, 
cell G2 shows the number of students that have already been assigned to that random number. And um, this do while loop is looking at if the group is already full, meaning that um, the number of students in that group is greater than the maximum number specified by the user, then we got to pick another random number. And we'll put that in cell F2 and um, continue to loop around until we, uh, the reason why I'm setting the ra cell F2 is in here is so the G2 updates um, with the new number of that. And uh, if it's not greater than, meaning the group's not full, then it gets out of the loop and assigns the random number to the range. So let's go ahead and run that just to demonstrate. And um, put my button out here for the, the uh, new and improved. I'll call it uh, flexible group assignment. So it's going to ask how many students I want in a group. Let's say three is our maximum. And it computes your seven groups required and kind of randomly assigns them from one to seven, but you notice that there's nothing re 